Thank you. It's, it's great to be here. I've been a firefighter for 30 years, and I'm 57, and they kicked me off the fire truck because I'm too old. I lived off grid for 15 years and became a huge advocate of your industry. The first time you pull a kid out of a burning building, your life changes when it comes to safety as a firefighter. Firefighter safety depends on being able to shut off the high voltage DC. And if you can't shut off power, the fire service will stand outside and the house will burn. What I'm seeing in Europe is high voltage DC going to a string inverter with no rapid shutdown. With a micro inverter, when we shut down the power in the house, the energy stops at each panel. So what's causing fires with solar? What we found is that high voltage can start an arc, can start a fire, and we want to change that. That high voltage coming from the roof, connecting to an inverter, is a weak point where we see fires starting. This is an Amazon building. So these firefighters got on the roof and there's a fire with high voltage DC with no way to shut it down. And guess what they did? Yeah, he's going, exactly. <laughs> We've got to look at a DC architecture that you can't shut down and the fire service is going to back up and not do its job. Or an AC architecture where the firefighters can do their job and there's no arcing so we don't start the fire. My wish for the solar industry is to have millions of PV systems and energy storage systems all over the world. But you've got to use smart, safe technology. I'm gonna educate the industry because you need to know our research. All independent research. So we did some burn tests to see when these batteries catch on fire. So between 150 and 270 degrees Celsius, these will burn. But the scary part was at 93 degrees Celsius, the electrolyte starts getting disturbed in these. And what it will do is start off-gassing. What it off-gasses is very, very explosive. These cells are manufactured correctly. These batteries, the battery management system is doing a very good job within the battery. Where we're seeing the fires is if there's an external heat source that heats these up and the battery management system can't cope. My question to the solar industry is this, where are you putting a high voltage inverter that can DC arc? It goes next to the battery. So what I want you to do, I want the industry to understand, when you put a battery in a home, remove all the fire risk away from that battery. So the tests the industry did with their residential batteries, we didn't see any explosions and we wondered why. So we did our own testing. This is what we found. So state of charge is critical to understand. 30% state of charge, eh, 100% state of charge. What is your residential battery designed to do? It's meant to be at 100% state of charge. That's its weakest point. And your systems are designed to keep it at 100% state of charge. So it's critical to understand what the gases are that come off these. This is hydrogen. This is the Hindenburg. <laughs> so let's look at how explosive this gas is. And the gas burns and it starts producing more and more flames. The point is this, we want to remove every external fire risk from that battery. So this is a residential battery that we simulated an arc for. This is what you are putting in people's homes. For the industry to thrive, to help the grid, to be a renewable source in millions of homes, you're at a point right now where you can match the same architecture in billions of homes with your PV. Why is it so important to understand an AC architecture is important? because we've had it for a hundred years and it has a fantastic record. But what we're finding with our research is completely changing what starts a fire in a home. There's one thing when there wasn't batteries around and it was just solar. People's roof caught on fire, they could get out the home, they could call the fire department. People can't do that anymore with a battery in their home. There's no time to get out, that's the difference. I think the solar industry needs to know this. And I think the customers need to know this because I think you have a viable industry that is gonna do very well. 
This is a very dangerous piece of equipment that we have the technology to make it safe. I really want to educate you to thrive. And I think it's my job to share this research with you. Thank you. Thank you.